हरिओ इन दि रॉयल सीक्रेट योग बिकॉज अ वेरी हाई स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ फिलोसॉफी हेज बीन एक्सपाउंडेड अर्लियर suddenly a question comes to the mind of an ordinary sadhaka that such a high and esoteric concept of lord has been explained but on a day to day basis i am doing a puja which is a tantric puja or puja as per the tantra archana as we call it everyone does it what is the significance of this in relation to what has been expounded so far can i consider all this puja archana as trivial just a show a preliminary step and most of the modern generation or for that matter everyone does get a question in the mind what is the point in spending every day some amount of time ranging from 5 minutes to few hours in washing the gods cleaning the gods showing the dhupam offering prasadam does it really mean something or it is just a customary thing is it a ritual that has come down by tradition and we are kind of compelled to follow it or it has some significance and if it has some significance then why is it that for so many years all our forefathers and including myself we are offering this service but so far the god doesn't seem to have come anywhere closer to me once for all this question needs to be sorted out that why do we need a temple why do we need a worship why do we need to do that utsava why do we need to do that puja and as gurudev has rightly said that the dreary intellects poisoned with their own misunderstandings and there are many of them these days who say that this is an utter waste of energy and human efforts you could perhaps spend that much time in your work and perhaps you will be contributing to the national economy etc etc lots of large hearted philosophies come out from these people and then we become very weak in defending why the rituals why the worship why the archana is important for the sadhaka in one stroke bhagwan has decided to give the answer to that and in the answer bhagwan has delineated both the things you need to do the archana at the same time what the archana should be it is like somebody saying that if i am going to ultimately work as an accountant why should i study history go to primary school secondary school directly tell me what is debit credit and i will start working why waste time the very fact that every educational endeavor as progressing from the childhood's nursery till his graduation or post graduation develops a pluripotent personality who is able to lead a life not only from the standpoint of earning few rupees or few dirhams or few dollars but also helps him in identifying the kind of life that he should be leading forward similarly in the ultimate search for the god it has to start from scratch i mean it starts from scratch not that everybody is um evolved soul being born everybody is not an upstart in spirituality in fact considering oneself as upstart in spirituality is a big crime because there is a possibility of a trap considering oneself as the beginner is always better 
and at that point of time the first thing that one needs to inculcate is the very fact that there is something called lord as a power existing in this world if we re real if we decide that there is nothing in this world called god the question of this shloka doesn't arise at all when we presume that the power is there when we have some amount of inkling of course because of our past impressions which gives rise to this shraddha more so if you are lucky and born in india bharata then this shraddha comes by default it is in the blood of indians in such cases then because of this inherent shraddha we tend to seek the lord and then in order to bring that reality which is beyond the parimana a parimita dimension less entity has to be brought within the dimensions then only me with my low intellect can perhaps think of grappling with the concept called brahma so for me a nirguna brahma is a mighty jump that only hanuman can take for me i need a saguna sakar swarup so that i can channelize my seedling called shraddha and slowly water it so that it can uh, sprout first and then blossom into a big tree of devotion बहुत सुकृतान की जोड़ी मनुन ही विठली आवड़ी तुकार ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज सेज अनलेस यू आर डन सुकृत विठला नेम विल नॉट कम इन युअर माउथ द टंग विल नॉट से विठला एंड द रीजन फॉर दैट इज देर हैज टू बी सुकृत नाउ दैट इट कैन बी वेरी वेल प्रिज्यूम्ड दैट वी हैव डन सुकृता सो गॉट बॉर्न इन भारत वर्ष सो गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस टू variety of spiritual luminaries including guru deva now perhaps the ground is ready for moving forward and the first step to move forward for a toddler is to take the first step by holding on to something called tricycle this first step is taken by doing the archana which has lot of physically actionable components get the flowers get the leaves get the pure water take a bath yourself and then all these are paraphernalia the child when it goes to nursery carries with him the tiffin to eat some uh, toy also and then also one particular thing to write something one pencil all this whole idea is that somewhere shri ganesha will happen but the same shri ganesha can turn into actual shri ganesha provided with the grace or the blessings of saraswati it is understood that why i am doing this particular archana so the need of archana has been definitely delineated by bhagwan here otherwise he wouldn't have mentioned it but the second part of that bhagwan is mentioning that yah anyone who yah yo yah it is visarga sandhi yah who anybody prayachati prayachati prayatnena dadati one who offers यह प्रयच्छति मे टू मी टू मी मे इज चतुर्थी एक वचन यूजली मह्यम इज यूज फॉर द सेम प्लेस एंड चतुर्थी इज डेटिव केस इन चतुर्थी इन यो मे द वन हु ऑफर्स मी with some conditions lord has put bhaktya 
Bhaktiya means with devotion. The crux, as Ramanji pointed out, that Bhaktiya word has come twice. And both the times it is applicable to, once it is applicable to a person's mental status. And second, it is applicable to the instrumental case of Upahritam. Bhaktiya and Bhakti Upahritam. The difference here is in the Antakkarana, which is the bedrock of creating vrittis, these vrittis, when they are in the dry form, they are called as vichar. The reason is vrittyaha vicharati. Because they move around, you get a thought, but it's a dry thought. I saw another car passing by. It's a thought. It's a vritti, but I have nothing to do with that car. I'm just mentioning it's a statement, vidhanartha, vidhan. However, when that car I saw was driven by my daughter, now the car is, 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 is taking a different shape in the mind. Oh, my daughter went in that car. What happened between the two thoughts? One was Vidhana Artha, second one almost Udgara Artha. Udgara Artha is because there is an lessing of emotion into it. When the Vritti in the Antakkarana is laced with the responding or reactive pattern in the thought itself, suppose there is a person called Vithala. So we say, hey, Vithala, come here. Vidhana Artha. Now we are in Pandharapura and there is a Vithala in front. Now you say, Vithala. Two Vithals differ because one is Vidhana Artha, second is lest with emotion. So thoughts or vrittis when they are lest with the emotions, directed towards one particular entity, then the vichara becomes a bhava. Bhava, vibhava, abhava and sambhava all are discussed in detail by none else than Bharat Muni in Natya Shastra, which incidentally is very close to Bhakti Shastra. So vibhava, sanchari bhava, these are all details of Bhakti Shastra. Bhakti Shastra Rasayana, a very good granth by none else than the Advaiti Madhusudan Saraswati Maharaj. Bhava is in simple words to understand. There is a child who is crying. This is a statement. My child is crying. Now what is happening inside is Bhava. So when with the fact that the one whom I am worshipping is mine, is me or mine, then the thought becomes completely different. I am not do doing, I am not pouring water on a, a silver or a metal murti. I am actually having Balakrishna in my hand and I am giving a bath to Balakrishna. In fact, in Bhakti Shastra, when the puja starts, it starts from the toes. Lord's toes are taken into the hand, then slowly they are immersed in water. And if it is a Balakrishna, you have to be very careful. Why? Because now Balakrishna is the entity to whom I am Bhaktiya. Because my emotions are now as a child. If I am worshipping Shiva, my emotions are Veera Rasapurna. When Ravana Rachita Shiva Sostra has got all the characteristics of even the mantra itself it indicates Veera Rasa Indama. Because with that emotions, Vishnu Bhagwan is to be worshipped with Shanta Rasa. White flowers, Shanta Rasa. 
each lord specifically available in hinduism based on the kind of emotions you have if you have ability to worship the malevolent characteristic of durga by all means do it but then that worship is not same as a vishnu worship so when lest with the emotion yah prayachhati me bhaktya bhakti uparutam bhakti uparutam bhakti uparutam means uparud rutam dhatu rud the essence of me uparutam one who is close to me upavasam the one who is very close to me in that form when it is offered then only i receive it because it is an instrumental case ashnami strutiya ek vachan instrumental case how do i what is the thing through which by which by which bhakti uparutam and such a person who is bhakti vrutta upahrutam is not only an emotional person alone there is something more to it and that something more is prayatatmanaha prayatatmanaha is in genitive shashti case of one whose mind is purified now the question comes if it is about the purified mind then why shuddha manaha is not written prayatatmana prayata is prakarshena yatati yasya saha that which has been tamed that which has been properly controlled with great and elaborate efforts that is why a sadhu is called yati vivekanand is called yati raj why one who has controlled himself because controlling of mind itself is the prerequisite of the purity of mind the chitta shuddhi presupposes sadhana chatushta sampannata once these three criteria as i have evolved then arjuna yah prayachati me bhaktya bhakti uparutam prayat atmanah tad aham ashnami his whatever offerings he gives me i accept it patram pushpam phalam toyam all dvitiyas i accept all of them in other words if you offer me anything that lacks in these two things i am not going to accept it or i am not going to like it i just did a corruption in the place job that i was doing and in the evening on way home i went to ganapati mandir because it was ganesh chaturthi and said ganesh bappa moria ganapati bappa is not going to listen to the moria because you did not do it with prayatatmanah bhakti uparutam that hasn't happened and that is the reason why lord is saying that worship is definitely important chandra shekhar saraswati gal the great shankaracharya used to do archana for which so much elaboration was required that sometimes few hundred kilos of flowers were called for and then he would do the jalabhishekam for few hours and he was in a complete trance when he was doing it because actually and virtually he used to do puja why because he was yatat prayatatmanah and bhakti uparutam at that point of time what you offer is immaterial to the god even if you give anything a sufi rightly says kimat mein unke go hum do jug de chuke par us yaar ki nigah hai is par bhi sasti aa hai even if the whole universe is given to him as offering 
एंड यू ऑप्टेन हिम सस्ता सौदा है अर्जान खरीद चीप सौदा एंड दैट इज बिकॉज द वन हु इज प्रयत आत्मन हिज अप्रोच इज वेरी सिंपल द अप्रोच इज एज सिंपल एज एज रमन जी सेड मेरा मुझ में कुछ नहीं जो कछु है तेरा तेरा तुझको सोप दू क्या लागे है मेरा the very fact that my ownership is no more there when can i leave my ownership only when i know i do not exist till the time i have the feeling that i exist i do till the time i is there ahankar laya niswarth seva is the crux of the bhakti our problem is even if we go to vishnu devi we are very keen to first of all publicize it before going at least 10 people ja raha hu vishnu devi after coming back aa gaya vishnu devi se prasad lo so that people should say that ha ah, what a bhakt you are this is where the problem is coming randevu with the god is a sec is a, is a, is a, is a isolated phenomena it is to be done in solitude what is happening between you and lord is only privy to you and the lord nobody else but it has to happen with the bhav tukara mara says bhav bale akale yeravi nakale kartali avale taisa hari like an amla fruit in my hand i can hold hari in my hand provided i have the bhav so that is how gurudeva has given elaboration with last paragraph talking about two conditions offering with devotion and it is with pure mind why de- pure mind and devotion why not devoted mind is always pure why not pure mind is always devoted not that every pure mind is devoted ask the guru nyangta or totapuri maharaj of ramakrishna paramahamsa he is to say to his own disciple ramakrishna paramahamsa thakur da whenever he is to come back from the vesper or the aarti of durga mata kali mata he used to say that oh did you finish making the chapatis what happened viveki yata atmana pure minded but zero bhakti it is a different thing that the shishya taught the guru the bhakti and then he became completely for the first time in his life he cried in inconsolably after getting the darshan of in while taking bath, bath in ganga and taking the darshan of durga mata in the same when the lord further says yat karoshi yadashnasi yajjuhosi dadasi yat yat tapassasi tat kurushva madarpanam the beauty of gita especially since we are trying to also learn simultaneously sanskrit this is a very peculiar shloka from sanskrit grammar point of view except the word kaunteya which is a sambodhana entire shloka is in dvitiya vibhakti यत करोशी यत अश्नासी यत जोहोसी ददासी यत यत तपस्यासी तत् कुरुष्व मदर्पणम इन दिस केस करोशी अश्नासी जोहोशी ददासी व्हेन दिस इज स्पोकन अबाउट द क्वेश्चन कम्स व्हाई सो मच ऑफ वैरायटी इज गिवन व्हाट एवर यू डू कुड हैव इन द श्लोका दिस इज बिकॉज देयर इज एन हिंट टुवर्ड्स बोथ द नित and the naimittik karma both so secular karma and vaidik karma both are covered into this when it comes to the sacrifice jihosi we are talking more about the nitya karma and the naitik karma sacrifice charity and austerity in this case tapasyasi in other words your life is expected to be on the lines of vedic instructions 
And once we are following Vedic instructions in our day-to-day -day life, it goes without saying that whatever you do, that act one has to think, why am I doing it? Why am I eating? No, because I am hungry. That's a physical reasoning. I am eating because Hinduism has given food the, the, the level pedestal of Parabrahma, Annam Purna Brahma. Samartha Ramdas, before eating food in Maharashtra, the common procedure is to say that shloka of Samartha Ramdas, which says, Annahe Purna Brahma. So you're eating Purna Brahma, meaning what? Even while eating this food that is given to be by whom? By him. Goes where? To the body. Given by whom? By him. And does what? Gives me the energy. For what? For him. Whatever I do, no, but I'm doing a job. It is just the technical description of what you do. For whom you are doing? Because I'm working at the place where I'm working, the organization runs. The organization runs so that uh, people working in organizations, they thrive. They thrive so the society thrives. Society thrives so the nation thrives. And that gives a semblance of peace for everyone to then think of their spiritual progress beyond. So every act of ours is nothing else but Sahayadnya concept Sankalpana which is described into the second and third Adhyaya. Every action of mine is Sahayadnya. I am a part of the huge machinery called Cosmos. And at my level, I may be a small screw or an important critical component. I may be a leader or I may be just a follower. I may be a very rich person employing 10,000 people or I may be a poor worker. With whatever limited energy or role that has been given to me, I shall be contributing for the entire machinery in my own way. Because I am born for that. This concept is the one which then explains everything that my austerity is not for myself. My austerity is basically for others in the sense that that helps me in reaching my goal. From the bhoga to yoga, I can come only when I get disenchanted with the bhoga. The inculcation of Paravairagya, which is the basic prerequisites for becoming one with him, can only come only when whatever is happening, I consider it to be his. And why? Because of my Prarabdha, if I am compelled to do something, Sati Mule Tadvipake Jati Ayu Bhogaha Patanjali Maharaj says that if I am born in a particular thing, I am a doctor, I have to perform surgeries. I cannot just think of sannyasa. Then let all those surgeries be Lord's way of helping those who are suffering to be done in the manner of it is yadne or austerity. When such a kind of activity is done, Kaunteya, I consider that as something which is given to me or arpanam to me. It is an offering to me. So that is why Jnaneshwara Maharaj says, Swa karma kusuma veera. How am I worshipping you, my Lord? By the flowers of my karma. Each karma is a flower that is given on at the feet of Lord Vishnu. So in two shlokas, Lord has told us the necessity of having a puja archana as our way of improving the spiritual temperament at the same time without deflecting from the path that it is basically to be done with complete imbuement, imbuement of devotion, soaked in devotion, thinking only of him, to be done for him, 
and everything to be ultimately done arpanam to him hariyo